and welcome back to Day Night Gaming, and we are back at Metroid Zero Mission. Last part we took out Ridley, and in this part we're going to make our way towards Big Bad Mother Brain. Yes! So, before we get started, um, we were going on a side tangent, a lot of stuff happened, but go ahead and finish your story about Brawl Family Manual. <laughs> well, basically what it pretty much was, was that um, the... Uh, it's ba pretty much that it had it showed a uh, metro with different locations and everything, uh, like the uh, like the grass the grassish area and such, and uh, and then you see in another panel like it says um, centuries and centuries earlier than that you see a uh, a a green a greenish uh, Mario level, you see uh, Meridia and then you see a water level, you see uh, Ridley's lair and then you see Bowser's castle there. So I, the idea, the, the 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 artist even put it himself that you know it's a interesting take on like what if the the worlds were the same, one and the same and such, just like centuries later. Huh. Well, just a heads up, I get um kind of sidetracked in this part a little unnecessarily, so you're gonna see me backtracking and getting kind of lost because right after Ridley, you don't have to immediately go to Mother Brain. I mean, the idea was you got to go back to that little hallway where you saw the two statues crumble. But the thing is, immediately after you beat Ridley and you're making way back, you have the option to get basically every other missile upgrade and super missile upgrade you want. Because the power up we're going to get right now, which is a screw attack. Screw attack. So yeah, depending on how you want to play, if you're just going for speed, you're just supposed to get the screw attack and then go back to that bridge. But if you want to go for completion, you want to start exploring all the rest of the map. And do you do that at all? Um, no. I just get kind of <laughs> lost and sidetracked, so I kind of fail on this part. Just a heads up. <laughs> it's okay. But I with, have. But with the screw ah. attack, you get one of the strongest attacks in the game, and um, you also get the ability to space jump, if I'm not mistaken. No, that, that, that's later. Well, yeah. I I think some of the our Metroid games, they, they combine the two, not, if I'm not too sure, but... um. Pretty nifty attack, as long as you're just doing a front flip forward, you actually hurt enemies really bad, like with the same speed, the same like power as a fully charged shot, just about. Not having to do it. Yep. Yeah, and as you can tell, I'm going the wrong way here. <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. I mean, you still could have finished the room. <laughs> now everybody's yeah. going to be in suspense about what's in there. <laughs> it's gonna bother you for the rest of the part, sir. Yeah, I, I kind of get ADD. Like, yeah. As we can know that tell. Well, I want to. I go into like rooms that you know are unexplored. But if it takes so much effort to actually like, you know explore it, then I kind of give up on it. And then go on to the next room. I see. At this point, it just seems. I guess you're just collecting a few of the other extra. But aside from that, you're just probably just going like you're just gonna move on from here. Well, I'm just exploring. Like, if, if, if there's any gray area in a map, and if it's easy to explore, and I don't have to do too much for it. Then I go through the area like this. But if I have to like do a lot, like you know, tricky platforming, I probably leave it alone. Ah. Uh, well, whatever this game expects you to go ahead and do, like the like the shine spark. That's kind of bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. And as you can see here, one of these little blocks is fake, with the obvious hint there. That dude. The sad face. <laughs> though you're gonna be happy, though, in the end, more than likely. And we got the demonic uh, seahorses. <laughs> now, I'm not sure how you're supposed to actually get this power up. Wall hmm. jump? Well, yeah, it doesn't look like you can go far enough for wall jumping, like I was trying to do it. Like, I tried it on this side also probably could have made it there. Like, at the, at the peak, you could probably do it there. Well, you gotta give yourself a little bit of animation. I don't know, I, I give up on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, how could you? Failure. This is the worst run of Super Metroid ever. <laughs> Sam Samus has been demoted from Bounty Hunter's uh, give her up. To half-ass. <laughs> to half-ass. Half-ass mercenary. You know, she, she will send a side planet by herself. To single-handedly wipe out an entire army, but she can't get a one simple uh, missile upgrade. 
And it just goes to show about, like, it just goes to show just how formidable all the entire galaxies or, like, universes, military forces. Like, uh, the, the story is that, um, I'm not sure if we went over this already, but that the, the, basically the sp space pirates are terrorizing the entire universe. And, um, the universe, like, the entire universe's united, like, military force can't, inter can't attack them directly. Like, they can't infiltrate this fort. So they send in a single person. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. But we only went briefly on, like, Mother Brain, and that was, like, confusion between the old instruction manual and such, but that's what the actual story to this game is, is that that's... What the... <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, puppy. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sums oh, well. up my feelings right about now. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. That, that dog looks like he had a pretty good job going on. <laughs> <laughs> At least know more of what's going on than this guy. Please tell me, at least through all of this, you at least get like one of them. <laughs> I edit out quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken. Like, there's some footage you're not seeing of me just failing, looking, flailing around. <laughs> genocide, genocide. Hmm. And I guess that's when you know you're awesome. <laughs> but you still can't get across a single wall. Yeah. Maybe this will give me a hint. Yeah, no, he's just gonna re restore my life. Jeez, I think the, I think the main problem I was having was just getting back to Mother Brain's lair, like finding a direct route back. You have to go create no it's criteria, but the Brain Star, I'm sure, but yeah. The process of getting there seems to be kind of tedious. Yeah, I don't know. I'm being impatient. Maybe a little bit of both. Hmm. <laughs> Jump yeah. again. He just screw it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and those little symbols obviously mean obviously mean that you can destroy them with the, the screw attack. Yes. Now this part, um, I see the I see the room to the left, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and try and go through it since you needed sewer missiles before. But um, you know, spoiler alert, I don't think I actually get this upgrade. <laughs> uh -oh. so this, this really was just the, the part of wasting time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we this, do this, nothing here. This is kind of like to give you an idea of what you have to do if you want 100% the game. There you go. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> the gimmick oh. there is, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> disappearing blocks. Oh, uh, why did you <laughs> fall jump? <laughs> oh, the thing is, when those blocks are disappearing right below you, um, it messes up your traction. You you can't jump off that. Like, it messes oh. up your, your jump animation. Oh. Like, you see, if I want to jump again there, it wouldn't let me. I wasn't talking about that. You were, like, at the edge of a wall with the disappearing blocks under you. Yeah, it's right like there. All the time, you know? Really quick, you could have actually done it there. Yeah, everyone's a critic. <laughs> well, I mean... You know, after learning how to wall jump in Super Metroid, wall jumping in this game is pretty easy. I actually have a harder time wall jumping here in Super Metroid. It's probably just because of me, you know, if you're used to doing it in, in Super Metroid, it might be a little more tedious in... in well, it's a matter of just getting used to it, though. So, eh. Well, in Super Metroid, your jumps are a lot more floaty, so it's easier to do. You have a, you have a lot more time to actually. It's a lot more forgiving with how, what the time restriction you have to do it. I, I think the way they did it is in Super Metroid, your jump is floatier. You have like more time to do a wall jump, but in this game, like it's easier to actually do a wall jump. I, like I think there's more time in the animation of when you're spin jump the wall jump. Huh. Yeah, I think for here I finally say screw it and then finally start making my way back. Or maybe I don't. For those who are still here, this is still part nine where we do absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, maybe hey. you'll be able to get through there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I can go through part earlier. four. Yeah. You see, I do get something. There you go. I got two missile upgrades. <laughs> That's something. A 
and now nothing. Again. Well, I think probably that it's probably just a mess with you or something. I don't know what that's about. Or maybe yeah. there's some, there was something on the other side. Yeah. I thought there may have been something hidden, but at this point, I think I realized I wasted so much time that I should probably start going back pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I but may if, have. If you look at the map, like, every area that was gray, I, I at least checked it out. So I think that was the mindset I was going into it with. I see. And that was a troll moment. <laughs> What am I doing here? Pulling in a circle. <laughs> and making everyone mad. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Go! Just go. Hey, you could probably get that. Yeah, you see, I meant to do that. <laughs> At least you did, please, yeah, just get something. <laughs> no, go back! It was, it was easy! Oh, well, you needed you needed to speed boost. I don't know why. I've always I always remember that. <laughs> yeah, but um, also a side note: before you actually go and tackle Mother Brain and beat Mother Brain, you might want to explore the whole world map because, not to spoil anything, Mother Brain is not the final part of it. True. So just a yeah. just a heads up. I mean, it's probably worth the same way as, like, Super Metroid, where, you know, at that point... No, it is. It will. Because after that point and everything, there's no going back. So maybe if you want to still explore after, you know, uh, after actually, you beat the game. In this game, after you beat Mother Brain, you go through the, uh, the last part. Once you get pretty much what you get from... Uh, once you get the necessary items from that area, you can come back here. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Well, there we go. Never mind then. Oh, wait. So what? Progress? Now? Maybe. Oh, we're back where we started. Yeah, <laughs> one giant circle. Look, I wasn't trying to fool anyone here. I mean, I let I explicitly let everyone know that I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, there's an <laughs> entrance over there. <laughs> go through that entrance. Go to the green. <laughs> the if green. Listen. Listen, past self. <laughs> If the dog didn't, des didn't describe my situation <laughs> adequately, I don't know what will. I, I just, I just wish we were back in Grinstar. I'm so tired <laughs> of seeing this now. Yeah, at least, at least this is different track. scenery. Like, this is different scenery than the first game. The first game bubbles. was literally the first game. This whole area was literally cut and paste environments. Yeah. Okay, I'll that, give you that one. That, that made it fun, but still with no map. It was like, you know, the simplest thing to get lost because every room looked exactly the same. Uh, so you're saying that was under understandable that, you know, that was the case. Here, though, it doesn't seem like there's that much of an excuse. No, go back down, no. I think I finally, I think I finally realized. There you go. <laughs> Yay! Go backwards to return. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at least we're going back and making some progress ish. All right. So what I've learned from this is one one entire part for misplacement. Not not even a super misplacement. Hey, hey, I got the screw attack and two missile upgrades, alright? I don't need to take none of this crap. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Okay, now wait a minute. I, we didn't mention this before, but the screw attack is the only way to beat those one enemy that you can basically use as platforms. Kind of unnecessary, but... I actually think the screw attack might be an optional upgrade. I think it, it, I think it pretty much is. I... It may be. I don't, I mean, you really don't need it against, uh, Mother Brain, right? Yeah, and to get past that platform, you have to use a Science Park, well, you have to use a Science Park technique, but you have to do it in more fall mode, which is another thing you can do in this game, but it's very difficult. <laughs> Funny, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, basically what it is, you build up your Science Park, go into more fall, and then you jump with your space jump ability, which lets you jump in your more fall mode, and then, um, you press the direction you want to go in. I, I'm, I'm starting to feel as if you don't like using more. You don't like using time parts. 
Yeah, not not that much. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan. Well, you need to be. Because you need to get that 100%. Maybe oh, yeah. I'll maybe I'll 100% Metroid 2. Metroid 2 is an easy game to 100%. If I ever decide to play it. It's so <laughs> bland. <laughs> oh, you can play the, uh, the... I'm going to call it the second, the first mission of Metroid for that ROM hack that you were talking about. It's not complete yet, though. Oh. Uh, so close. That's a lot of potential, though. And, and there we so go. Sounds interesting. Open sesame. It's, it's a two-headed rock. I try to do it now! Oh, wait. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we already made the joke. It doesn't have to happen again. And now we're at Turian, where we encounter our first Metroids. Yeah. Oh my. They, they, they gave him a kiss. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. And then he turns to dust. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, Metroids. They're uh, the main villain of the game, also the title, and they were heavily inspired by the facehuggers from the Alien series. Must like like a mere of this game. Like I may or may not have mentioned before, but yeah, a lot of this game is basically influenced by the original Alien movie. Yeah. And now we have SpaghettiOs. Intergalactic Yay! SpaghettiOs. Uh oh. Uh oh, what do we have here? We have the Metroids. But, um, well, the Metroids are kind of a joke here compared to how they were in previous versions or how they were in the first game. Oh, uh, dear God. Yeah, the trick here is, well, you don't want to let them latch onto you, but you want to freeze them with one shot of your ice beam, and then shoot them with five missiles. Now, the problem with that is, if you were playing the original game, when you got the ice beam or wave beam, the beam sends it back. So if you were to get the ice beam, and then accidentally get the wave beam before you got to Torian, you would basically would have a really tough time killing Metroids. A near impossible time killing Metroids. Oh, so there, there is a way to do it? I'm... I, I don't think I think I think it is possible, but it may be it's oh. just very, very difficult. What's even worse is that you don't really have any incentive to keep the ice beam if you get the wave beam. Just the that. wave beam <laughs> The wave beam pattern is better for hitting enemies and the wave beam is the strongest beam in the game. So if you don't know that you need the ice beam at the end of the game, just kinda of keep going with the wave beam and just how much better it is. Yeah, but another characteristic of the Metroids is, if you run into more than one in the room, um, you actually, they can team up on you and, and drain your life more quickly. I'm not sure if they do it in this game, I'm fairly certain they don't. But yeah, if they actually do latch onto you, what you gotta do is go into one fall mode and then lay a more fall bomb to get them off you, then freeze them and do the, do the missile trick. Alright, so, these Metroids really like Phantom. Yeah. Especially this one, he's... He, he, uh, latched onto your face like six times now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, but, um, you know, speaking of Metroids and facehuggers, interesting little, a little uh, side note. Well, maybe I should say it for the next part. But, um, basically for the rest of this part, what I'm going to do is, I realize I'm getting close to the end, because Torian X itself actually isn't very long, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of grind a little bit to regain my health. And the way to do that is to basically see where these spaghettios spawn. But um, you want to go ahead and kill the green spaghettios, like right here. This is a perfect sp place to um, farm because the green spaghettios actually give you like ten missiles and thirty. <laughs> <times. laughs> and the only music appropriate for grinding, I believe. <laughs> hey, who doesn't enjoy the home gr Harlem Grove glow crotters? I'll take it. <laughs> Yeah, but as you can see, they give you more than five missile, missiles per SpaghettiO, and they always give you something. They have high drop rates for that reason. But anyways, yeah. guys, thanks for watching and sticking through. We'll catch you next time.